Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video we will be discussing a concept called as understanding logging. So what exactly is a logging and why does it matter to us? I will try to explain this concepts in next 10 minutes. So stay with me and after this video I am pretty much sure you will be having a clear picture of what is logging and why it is getting used. Now before I continue I would like to say that if you are someone who has already taken a DevOps training and want to prepare for interviews, you can check out my course 50 DevOps interview questions and answer. The link is in the description with the coupon code. Also, if you are new to DevOps and you want to discuss with me about your career, then you can always select a 30 minutes time slot. Again, the link is in the description. It is free of cost and you can discuss with me regarding your career requirements. So let us jump into the few questions. That is, why do we need logging to begin with? What are different levels of logging? Let us try to understand why do we even need a logging methodology to begin with? To explain this concept, let me explain an example. So you go to a bank and you deposit some money. And once you deposit this money, what is the next action that you do? You check your account balance, account balance. And you also check your account history if required, right? Account history. Now, what does account history have? It has all the details of credits, debit and errors and refund, etc. Why is this important? Because this will give you a clear picture on when a particular transaction was done and this will help you to identify issues or errors in your account. So after a few days, you will realize that there is a um, amount that has been deposited for you seven days ago. Now, how will you know if this amount was deposited seven days ago? So again, you go to your account history and you're going to look for credit. My question to you is, how do you know to look for credit? Because you know that credit means something is deposited to your account, right? Exactly. Apply the same logic into an application. An application is basically a program that is executing some task. Task A, task B, task C, etc. Now, all of these tasks, when they are working, how do you know if they are working? How will you know if they are failing or having a warning message, etc.? This has to be recorded somewhere. Now, if you record all different kinds of actions that is performed by your application, this itself is called as logging. So what is logging? It's a record of actions performed by an application. What kind of actions will an application perform? It will perform different kinds of actions like login page, API, action, etc. But what do we want to store? We want to store certain information like critical information or critical stuff that we want, error, warning, info, and debug. So it is critical, error, warning, info, and debug messages. So this is the hierarchy in which the logging is done. So if you have a message which is critical, it means that something is really bad and you want to look into it. If there is something in warning, it says that, okay, it is not really an error, but you know, you should look into it. It's a warning message. And debug is a detailed message of an action. So this is how logging is done. So well, let us compare, let us continue with the explanation. Now that we know that the different levels of logging, levels or layers of logging is the highest is critical. Then we have error. Then we have warning. Then we have info and debug. Now these are the levels. One of my student asked me, sir, can I interchange this? Can I put warning here? Can I put error here? No, you cannot. 
this is the existing hierarchy in which logging has to be done so if you have a program and if you are capturing warnings let us say if you have a python package or a python program that is capturing warning level let us say logging level is set to logging level is set to warning what is the level warning now what happens is because the logging level has been set to warning it will capture critical error and warning why because you have set it to warning it will capture everything above it everything above it is getting captured so let us take another example let us say if you select a logging level to be info what and all messages will be captured critical will be captured then error will be captured then warning will be captured and info will be captured why because the logging level is set to info this is why the hierarchy of logging or different levels of logging is very important hope it made sense so now i believe you know what is logging and what are the difference of logging so if they ask you in the interview that can you please explain why is logging required you should be able to answer this also you should be able to answer what are the different levels of logging and why this level is mandatorily maintained in such particular order well that's it for this video if you have liked this video don't forget to click on the like button if you want me to explain more different kinds of video please do leave a message in the comment section i will upload more such videos as in in future okay thank you and speak to you in the next video